This is Dr. Professor Sanjay Srivastava. I am not the director right now, I am the ex-director NIFT. As a small clarification before I start off this uh, deliberations today. Creativity and innovation has been part of our life today. Whatever we do, wherever and whatever we try to synchronize our lives with. And I think design and fashion has become one of the most passionate moments in everybody's life. We at NIFT, where I belong to, my 27 years have gone with this institution and every day is like I lived every moment of it. The kind of decision and the direction that this institution has given us over the period of years has not only given the impetus to succeed and decide and define the moments of glory in terms of participating with new minds, young minds, which come to your campus every day. The destinations that we have decided over a period of time with this very particular design institution has not even given me a bunch of experiences, but it's like hundreds of experiences which has always given me this understanding that decisions have, the right decisions have given the right directions. And that's decided the destiny of so many young people whom we have touched lives with. My ambition with the institution grew from Patna and from Patna, a poor, proud Bihari sitting and standing, doing all the kind of work that I have done till now. I was into the IT education segment before I made my foray to NIFT. My first place of posting was near Hyderabad, where practically that was a new place and dimension. And then 13 years down the line, there was an opportunity when we heard that the Bihar government was trying to establish something which was called NIFT in Bihar. And that was something which I was looking forward for. Something which really told me that something which you never thought of, never dreamt of, that an institution which you are so closely binded with is coming to your own hometown and what exactly would you look for. I had this opportunity, made my representations and I was the first one to walk into this very Udyog Bhavan where the temporary campus of NIFT started. And today, in fact, when I'm talking about something which says decision decides destiny, I'm sitting in the same Udyog Bhavan to talk about during the this index conversation with you people. It's such a fortunate destiny. NIFT, over a period of time, has decided lives of so many entrepreneurs, which I can say so. The design industry is such a huge industry in terms of defining moments for what we wear, how we wear, what we carry, and how we carry. The journey in NIFT started with me as an information technology department where we started off as an ambitious assistant professor where things were changing hands and I was not very sure of how a design industry will come to my entire game of plan and scheme of things in my life. But today when I look back, I must tell you another the kind of dimension that I have explored has been fantastic, fabulous, and the way it has shaped. The kind of lives that you touch while you were teaching or you were into the corridors in various kind of ambitions that NIFT gave you or the directions of platforms that NIFT gave you was, has been a very, very dynamic kind of a matrix which was available to you. NIFT Patna, June 2018, 2008 was when it was established. And I was the first one to walk into this uh, Apna Bazaar. The place was just vacated. The new batch was supposed to come in 2008. And we had 20 days to set up every small to big things to receive this more than 54 students into this campus. The journey was fantastic in terms of taking the challenges. Nothing was there. And from there, we had to endorse people who are from different corners of the country to make them understand Patna and design are two different things which can live together and are going to be there for a long period of time. We had this opportunity to come back to hometown, but very few Indians across the country would really love to come to Patna in 2008. And 2008 saw one of these very heavy rainfalls where a lot of areas were submerged. And that was the news which was moving in and NIFT was also coming out. But then we were 
happy to receive 54 such bright individuals. 20 days down the line, 15th August, the Department of Industries which houses this campus also gave us the opportunity to do a tableau and my 54 such students took a decision to walk on the tableau and 15th August deciding and demonstrating the way the fashion industry is going to be there. We established it, we said we are there. NIFT was there. My destiny with NIFT and my hometown was all written very nicely. I was fortunate to be with my parents. My parents were aging. 2007 is when I started deciding to move out from Hyderabad to come close to Patna. But then BMIT said that probably NIFT will not leave you. So NIFT came to NIFT Patna, to campus, uh, to NIFT came to Bihar and Patna. So if I look at the regions behind the design dimensions that has really evolved over a period of time with this institution, it has touched so many bases, it's touched so many dimensions in terms of establishing core values. Design as a course, it's itself so many individuals in, are themselves confused, the parents are not aware. But then there is an array of institutions, there are fashion icons today, there are a lot of industries which says very loudly to people that you can join the dots for a successful career in fashion and textiles. The way NIFT and me as a decision maker, as a director for long 10 years of NIF Patna, the kind of institution shaping up and building up was a lot of decisions and destiny, but not only for me, but for the campus at large, with so many stakeholders looking at you for a good response and how would you really move with the system. NIFT, I'm especially Talking about the institution because it's not a brand, it's a brand itself, it's a government organization and we associate the social fabric with the kind of elements that the institution also portrays in terms of the craft clusters that we have been associated with. During the pandemic, whether you agree or you don't agree, pandemic taught us the method of using and adapting the culture of technology, whether and this culture of technology really made us to connect with the air, all the people in the handroom and handicraft industry together. The COVID did not derail us. COVID was there, but the technology is where we adapted to really take up the challenges and decide the destiny of so many handroom and handicraft handicraft workers to take it forward. NIFT, in terms of this association with the handroom and handicraft uh, issues, were so big and pragmatic that the address that we really wanted to do was of immense value to the change of the demand that these handicraft and handloom can really prosper with. When we came to NIF Patna, there was no U-turn and we had these number of days. The hostel, the academic block, the systems were to be in place. The courage and the kind of excitement that we had to build amongst these individuals was so big, so rich, so exciting that the parents who would really call us, is the place safe? These questions would really haunt us in terms of understanding how do we really tell the parents across Pan India. And then today, if you look back and we say that today we have students from 17 states there. So the destiny of the institution really shaped up so many uh, individuals who were trying to approach the institution in terms of understanding their goals and mottos in terms of different design principles that we have been working upon. In terms of industry, the garment industry, we know that the garment and the textile industry is a very big contributor to the economy of the country. And today, the innovation and the kind of things that we are trying to plant in terms of learning and academics and the building base with the textile and apparel has gone beyond what we have expected to think. Today, we are talking about micromanagement to macromanagement. We are talking about in terms of decision making, in terms of how do we really make uh, the individual more of more functional in terms of the apparel that you wear, the scientific garments, the technical garments, there are changes, the challenges which are coming forward. In terms of understanding my job portion and the challenges that did, I was born as medic. It was very difficult for me to really take in in terms of a profession that I would choose. Being a Bihari, the choice of UPSC and the State Bank of India and other exams were our prime focus. 
but then my asthma was really a trigger for me to choose which direction I would adopt. The IT industry was coming up and I chose to pick up those lines and pick up that segment from which I could really save my skin to perform and how would I really perform. So when you really understand your dimensions in terms of how would you like to shape up the career and the perspective in prospects, I think it's very important to understand how and what is your SWOT, how do you really, really agree with your internal dynamics to take it forward. Now, while we were doing this exercise in terms of taking night, one of my friends who is the youngest entrepreneur awarded by the president informed that there is some institution called NIFT which is coming up and they are expanding campuses, 4-5 which was coming in Hyderabad, Dhaninagar, Calcutta, uh, I think Chennai and uh, Chennai. Now, the, the individual, as an individual, NIFT was nothing which I never knew about. What is NIFT all about? And it was about 1995 that I'm talking about. We applied and I was given a place called Hyderabad, the city which I went for the first time. Six months down the line, I was deciding to quit because I was not looking for the place. I was feeling homesick. My brother-in-law, who was working with railways, said, give it one year, at least. That decision is now standing at 27 years long journey and that is where I have really inculcated all the elements of my personality with this environment behind my back. The way if you understand that when we look at NIF campuses, that we look at the destiny of students and the environment, we have seen very closely the kind of ambition that each of the students come to you. For me, the destiny of the student becomes my destiny as a faculty, as a director, as an ex-director, as a system. In an opportunity given, I was also given an additional charge of the Bhumpaneshwar for two years from 17 to 19. And it came on a Valentine's Day, 14th of Feb, and I travelled to Bhumpaneshwar. So for me, it was a two years of a long journey of one week in Patna and one week at Bhumpaneshwar. Working in the same parameters, there were some 750 students at NIF Patna, there were 750 students at NIF Bhubaneshwar. Setting these two institutions, running parallelly for two years was a huge task. But the decision that each student is looking at you for a solution was something which I really understood. And that was something which I really grounded myself with, irrespective of whatever problems that I would like to face in my life. That was my personal front, but on the professional front, when you are linked with so many individuals looking at you for that one precious moment which will change their lives and the thought process and that is only opportunity which I would say I was blessed. 2015, NIF Patna was a very new campus. The decision to push the students to the extreme limit was something that I wanted too. 2015, we have at NIF as an institution uh, All India International Converge, National Converge Championship. And then Patna was the champion in 15. When I was shifting from Patna to Bhubaneswar, I said to the students there, I have a Converse trophy behind my seat at Patna. Can I get one at Bhubaneswar? That was a trigger. And the campus, the response that I got from the students was something which I knew that the destiny has written something. And 18, the Bhubaneswar campus was the Converse champion. So I was one of the privileged person to have these two trophies whenever I went to Patna as a campus and when I came to Bhubaneswar as campus, these two trophies did say this destiny loudly telling you that the decisions that you are making are correct and the students that is moving with you are the best kind of a system that you can do. And an academician, if you have won through the students' hearts and to get the things for you and for the institution, I think that's one thing which, which each one of us in the academic area should be working for. Today, if I have a designer at home, you feel proud about it to say that I have a designer at home. If you see very strangely these days, even the televisions today during their horoscope kind of working, they say, if you are a fashion designer, and ask Abdin, Abka Mangal Mai Hoga, Abka Lucky Color Hai Black. Now the question of the fashion design word coming into even the dynamics of a news or a horoscope itself says the way the design industry has crafted its destiny within the garment, within the length and breadth of the country. The change of parameters, being an academician and being a chairperson of fashion design department to understand 
and create those matrix for students has been a biggest challenge. And if you have lived those challenges, I think you have done your job. I was within a pretty sitting at 55 years today, the kind of 27 years of amalgamation of NIF dynamics and the kind of alumni that you have. It's itself for such a huge base of a journey because each one of you then reflects some part of your journey and when they have touched certain points you feel that you have also touched those points so i as an individual if you ask me i'm so content to understand that i have traveled with so many different alumni at different corners and i'm present there so the the, the, uh, the kind of emotion exchange that you get in terms of achievement and the plans it becomes so interesting for me to take it forward so every time your phone rings on a birthday or a wedding or any other occasion, it is a destiny calling you back, sir, we are doing well. Sanjay, sir, this is something which we are expecting. Sanjay, sir, this is something that we are doing. And I, if you ask me, I would like to relive this kind of, of personality of Sanjay, sir, time and time, time again, year after year. And the kind of response, the system. Destiny is a very small example, I will say so. Students do very well and there is one instance where you got called to inaugurate one of the factories in Vijayawada and you had so many examples, you have so many people who could have been your chief guest but the student chose to pick a faculty who was there with him during his period of time of trouble and after 22 years of passing you are called to on a teacher's day to inaugurate a factory. I think that's one of the destiny that I could have written myself with and believe me with opportunities of such nature that we all are excited about. The industry, whichever you work with, has their own parameters. How do we really get into the mode to knock the right opportunities is what your mindset should be talking about. Exposure is something which will make you important. Exposure is something that will decide what makes you and helps you to decide on how you would like to go forward. But in case of a conflict or in terms of an understanding, there are so many people across the globe. It has gone seamless. Today, if I look at the design industry itself per se, engineering and other aspects, whatever you may say, so when I look at design as a perspective or as an environment, what I have seen over here is, today sitting over here, I can decide the destiny of my design even in a European market or a market in Russia or a USA. But then, if I having said that, what I am trying to emphasize to all of you through this TED talk is to make you understand that if you are looking for something which is important and critical, please make yourself more aware. The awareness is a key. Small knowledge, shallow knowledge will be never be the answer for anything that you would like to do in your life. The right decisions are not luck based. The right decisions are something which came through after a lot of research, a lot of activities that you wish to do. It does not come overnight. It does not come as a spur of a moment. It is not a spark that you have won a lot. It is something that you have to do it. And within the length and breadth of the dynamics of the entire life paradigm that we talk about, and the kind of destinations that design institutions are doing, we at DIFT or design colleges like IIT, NIT, NIFT, it's a huge challenge for us to decide the destiny, destiny of so many individuals who come to our corridors to take courses and understand how to really block, move them up to the next level. The, the, the kind of engagement that as an individual, as a faculty who are in your teaching line is something which is very different than anybody else who is in a different teaching, in different profession. For us, it becomes a very multiple pathways where every time, every time a young 18 year old joining, you are getting old, but then the age which joins to the campus is still 18 years. So the gap between you and the new entrance is becoming bigger and bigger. But then how do you really understand the destiny that he or she is wanting to have? So you need to really go into for a reverse and mentoring to understand and get in sync with what happens so that you can tell them how to be really fix these things for taking them forward. If I go back to my past and really record things, Hyderabad has been a very exciting journey in terms of understanding how to be really grow into the growth paradigms. We have done when, when the challenges of the different projects that comes in also defines how the institution is going to shape up. And that also really instills a lot of 
in the, uh, a lot of inside a lot of insight that you get out of the uh, learning paragraphs or the learning passages that you cut across uh, various industries in terms of uh, the philosophies behind which they are approaching you. Now, when we are looking at the decisions that we are talking in terms of industry perspective, we at NIFT, like institutions like NIFT, have to really keep on updating the uh, courses which has to be synced with the industry. Industry which is at large looking at the institutions because the next generation which is going to knock for their decisions will be the students from the corridors that we actually operate upon. Now, the industry looks forward in terms of the courses that we keep on synchronizing, which is where the industry will come forward to understand that they are better because we have sent students who are more good at decision making because they know what is new to the industry. But then if you are not new to the industry and you are not knowing new add-ons, the industry does suffer. So the, the, the whole gamut or the galaxy in which we operate, all of us, whether it's a fashion or a textile or engineering, what I want to also all, to communicate to all of you is when we really look into the aspect of an individual mechanism talking about three Ds, decide, decision decides destiny, you have to be very focused in terms of understanding A, whether it was right, whether you have a concurrence of somebody who is with you, you need to take your family along, you don't have to take your family along, are you an individual, are you looking at self-centric information or how you are going to shape up your career. In terms of so many other aspects, what is true to me may not be true to you, it's not a broad mass of journey that the same simplification or equation will apply to all of us. It changes from individual to individual and hence what I like to hear and tell people around that if we really want to emphasize on the directions that we really want to take. I would look back into a couple of anecdotes or certain amount of examples that I have with me when students have approached whether these courses are better for me or not and the parents have opposed. The objective is to tell the parents the destiny of the children should be decided by them. You can be a guide, let them be have the opportunity cost to understand what is in for future and if you help them as a guardian or as a as a well-wisher, I, I think a lot of things get, will get stimulated and synergized so that the, 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 the ward or the child would be able to take the right decision. Because today, when I again look back, with so much of alumni in the country taking decisions at various corners of the country and various quarters of the country, I feel privileged and honored and I think the decision that we have taken is right and then it's you who decides the color of your life, black and white may be the colors of the spectrum, but then what colors you choose for yourself has to be yours. Be you, be yourself, be your decision maker and try to be a one person who designs your own destination. So please dream big, decide better and write your script in the way in which you would like to shape. I, I, I would Thank you all for being a such a patient listener and wishing you all the best for a beautiful journey and your destinations ahead. Thank you.